hello guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be trading again with pocket option and i'll be using this strategy again um for those of you that watched my last video that I upload to this park you're gonna say that um i use this strategy on that video and it was very powerful so since then i've actually um promised to use this strategy throughout the week right so um over here these are the structure right it comprised with three indicators so the first indicator they are using is called moving average all right let me click on the editing part so i'm using moving average with a period of 28 and the uh, moving average is ema right so the second one is called cci uh, with a period of 18 this is the only thing that you need to change except you want to change the style like what i did here all right actually i'm um, take the lines here with times with two figs all right so the other last indicator i use is called momentum right and this are the certain the period over here to is the thing and that's pretty much it all right so it's a very simple setup so to put actually put this up just come over here um this is the moving average the first indicator that i use the second one is called cci why the last one is momentum right so that's just how it is so i'm not sure how this indicator works so if you watch my last video you all say that i explain uh very good how this works but i'll actually go ahead and explain again so over here we are looking at the indicators in three directions right so the first thing we are looking on um on the moving average is the falling down of this particular blue line here so when this line is um going down and our cci line here is at the um oversold level it means that um the line is at the bottom of the other lines here the bottom line here and then we are having a red signal a very a very strong red signal in the momentum indicator right so it will be a great moment to give it a call option for one minute all right don't forget we are doing this for one minute and 30 seconds candle time frame that's just it all right so the analysis is that when the candle actually fall i was a when the um moving average line was above the candlestick our cci is beneath or in the um bottom of the line of the um cci line here this particular line why we are having a red signal in our momentum then we are giving it to be a put option for one minute not only that we are taking trade on the new generated candle right so what i actually mean with that like this particular candle um have a time of 30 second expiration just like what we said here so we're going to wait for this particular gun to get expired and when we get another one generated immediately we're going to put in the trade if um what's it called the three indicator is in a right position all right i hope i explain myself clear the same thing happened when was the call the um, moving average line is below the candy on its way up our cci indicator is very strong on an overbought level it means that cci is at the top of the um line here all right and we have an, a green signal a very strong one in the momentum then we're going to take a trade on new candle generator don't forget that all right so if a particular candle is actually working and you get a confirmation with the trade indicator you need to wait if this candle is actually on and you have your confirmation with these three indicators you need to wait to take a trade on this particular candle immediately generated so when did this candle come off just go ahead and place in the trade if you're having your confirmation intact with the three indicators right so don't forget we are doing this for one minute all right and at 30 second time i'm in candle time frame so guys i think i actually i'm um, explaining better for those of you i normally speak faster but it seems that it, it's not really getting cool with people so i'm trying to actually lower my voice and try to explain in details right so but this is i think everyone understand how this works now right now i'll be taking another trade so i've already put up my current appears right now i'll be analyzing when i find a great moment i'll come over and take the trade and i'll try to explain again i mean the reason why i um enter the trade okay 
Okay, guys, I found a very good moment over here, but I'm actually waiting to take a trade on the next candy. All right, so as you can see, our um, moving average is very strong above the um, candy. We have an CCI below. We're getting our signal here on the momentum. I'm gonna take a trade on this to calm down. All right, for um, what's it called? One minute. So, um, like what I said, when you're having a very good signal with your uh, moving average above the candle, strong coming down, as you can see, our um, CCI is very um, on the uh, what's it called oversold level, and we're having a very good signal with the momentum. So, I know this is definitely going to be a good moment, so that's the reason why I actually put in the trade. I'm doing this for one minute, don't forget that, and with 30 seconds, a candle time frame. All right, guys, let's wait and see if there's going to be in the money in the next um, few seconds. All right, guys, so we're in the right and the money on that. That's a very good one in there. So, guys, I hope you understand uh, what actually happened. I mean, what I'm trying to explain real far. So, I'll be analyzing again. And when I find another great moment, I'll come over and take a trade. And I'll explain better why I put in the entry. All right. Okay, guys, I'm checking this out. We're waiting for under. Okay, it got generated. I put in the trade of 700. The reason why is this that um, our moving average is below the candle. You can say that. And um, we are having a very good time with our CCI, very strong in our bad lever. And of course, our momentum was good. All right, so that's the reason why I actually placed in the trade quickly on the uh, when the uh, what's it called when the new candle generated. All right, guys, let's wait and see if there's gonna be another great moment um, in the next few seconds, right? Okay, guys, a good moment there. We're in the money and that. All right, guys, a very good one. We're in the money on the trade, right? So right now I'll be analyzing again. When I find another good moment, I'll come over and take a trade. All right, guys, I'm actually checking this out again. So, as you can see, this is a very good moment. We're having a good time with our CCI. I'm waiting for the other counter to generate before I place in the trade, right? To be very, to be sure. So, I think we have less than, um, okay, two seconds to get another next candy. All right, I placed in the trade here for 700. As you can see, we are our, um, what's it called? Our CCI is really strong and even breached out the overbought level of the, of the CCI line here. And then our, we are getting a very fresh signal over here on the momentum is getting really stronger. And of course, our moving average is very, very good or at the bottom of the line. As you can see, it's going up. So guys, this is definitely going to be another great moment, I believe. So let's wait, guys. Let's see if we're going to be in the money in the next um, few seconds, right? Okay, guys. So we're right in the money on that. That's a very good one. So right now, I'll be analyzing again. Okay, guys. Over here, I'm actually checking this out, guys. Um, but I'm actually waiting for the other candidate to generate before I desire, before I know if I'm going to place in the trade. As you can see, the, um, the moon average is really strong over here. Um, our CC actually dropped here, but start picking up again, but still on the overbought level. And we're having a good signal here, all right? We have less than our five seconds. I'm um, three seconds to get another candy. So, okay, I got generated. So I place in the trade for 700. All right, guys, so this is another great moment that we, I'm waiting for. So, guys, let's wait and see if we're going to be in the money in the next, um, what's it called, a few seconds, right? Okay, guys, so a good moment there. We're in the money. When the money on that, guys, that's a very good one. So, right now, we're analyzing again. So, when I found another great moment... I'm gonna take the trade, all right? Okay, guys, I'm actually checking this out, guys. All right, this is a very good moment. 
so but i'm actually waiting for the candy to expire and get another new one before i place in the trade as you can see our um cci was an oversold level we're having a great uh, moment with the momentum and our moving average okay again another candy generated i place in the trade and our uh, moving average is at the top of the market right i mean above the candy sorry all right so this is definitely going to be another good one so that's why i place end the money in there so guys let's wait and see if we if this is going to be another great moment for us in the next uh, few seconds right guys win the money on that that's a very good one so right now let me actually take a larger trade i'll be taking a trade of a thousand dollar so guys i hope you understand how this work right this is a very great strategy if you're doing it another thing that you need to uh, what's it called needs to know is that you need to be taking this trade when the market is nearly open in the day all right so make sure the market is really stable before you're taking trade it's not necessary pull up because if there's um a pull up in the market unnecessarily it might actually what's it called ruin the strategy right make sure that um what's it called it can do is stable everything is stable in the market before you decide to use the strategy and you can only get a stable market when the market is nearly open during the day so around the morning in your location i don't know that when the market actually open in your location we we'll just try to check to know when the um what's it called each of the broker opens then you can after an hour or two then you can go ahead and start trading right so right now we're analyzing again when i find another great moment i'll come over and take a trade okay guys i find another great moment here which is very good all right so i'm actually waiting to get another candy generate as you can see our moving average the um the market has been really growing right from here but over here it is a very good moment and not only that we're having a good time with our cci in a very good position then over here for a very long time too um the momentum signal is very great all right so let me wait and see we have less than a um, few seconds for this particular can to get expired but since the markets are already dropping as you can see our ssi it's already going down but this is still definitely going to be another moment i believe because over here this candle here is not really strong so it's pulling up back so it means that we can still lock in on the money so what that will be the, the determination will be on the other candle that generated right okay i'll put in a trade here of a thousand dollar though this um what's it called the um cci has dropped over here and even um the other market is taking over but i know that um this today definitely going to be a moment a good moment but the reason why is that the candle here is really um not strong that generate this and when this generated i said that the candle is getting glitch i was the it's not strong as well so i know that the ma um the market must still pull up within the few seconds so that's the reason why i actually played in the trade but please don't do this at your end right that's the reason why we are waiting for the other new account to be generated before we place a trade make sure that you're having um you are in all good position before you decide to put in the money so i actually take this trade based on my experience not with the indicator all right if i actually follow this indicator i should not place this trade but i know that this particular account here is getting weaker and i know that um no matter what it's still definitely it's still going to pull up and the market within seconds so that is the reason why i place in the trade sometimes it doesn't happen but most of the time it does happen so guys let's wait and see if we're gonna be in the money we have less than 15 seconds left in a few seconds right all right guys so i think we're in the money on that yeah so we're in the money on that that's a very good one i'll be taking another trade guys so so if we're in the money on that trade, then that definitely gonna be our last trade, right? All right, guys, this is another one. So I'm actually checking this out, waiting for the cans to get. We have less than nine seconds. Okay, guys, this is a very good moment. I'm so confident of putting this trade. Um, the SSI is really going. I mean, the CCI is really going down. So let me put in the money on that. As you can see, it's uh, actually going down so well. We're having a good time with our momentum and then of course we have our moving average above the candy right 
so guys let's wait and see if this is definitely gonna be another great moment in the next few seconds all right all right guys a good moment there that's a very good one all right from our five thousand to six thousand dollars okay this is where i'm gonna stop on today's video i hope you enjoyed the video and then i hope you love the strategy so for those of you who actually tested this out on my previous video please kindly comment below let us know uh, how it works at your end so guys this is where i'm gonna stop the market is getting bad this is where i'm gonna stop on today's video thank you so much and um i'll see you in another video please you have to subscribe so if you haven't make sure you subscribe turn on the notification and if you like this video please kindly give me a thumbs up it's helped me a lot to actually grow my channel thank you so much and i'll see you on another video